Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, this is a continuation on from the last video, which I've sort of split up into two. So the last one was seven, this one is now eight. Um, it was getting too long. So anyway, welcome and enjoy. In my last video, I talked about the torrents and I just wanted to bring one more thing up about these torrents. In the pictures here, you will see that the torrents actually have uh, the bags that go over the, the gun itself on each picture. Now, in this plan, they give you they give you a choice of each on one side or both. And in this picture here, you can very clearly see that every single gun has these bags over them. So, I know the last one we did two of the ones where they go in and it's got the little bags on them and the slightly bigger guns where they don't have them at all. Uh, I'm still undecided which way I'm going to go but I am leaning more towards these ones where all of them have the, the same. These are probably a little more impressive and I can probably do more with the actual guns themselves as far as painting them but I, I'm unsure I just thought I'd quickly mention that that the plan itself has these rather than this in one of the previous masks we built this one here which is on the side over here which is right here I tried to get this to stand off camera and I, it dropped about 10 times so I gave up so anyway uh, we have not built this one here yet and again it's one of those pieces that have to be put aside as separate because I do believe it's darker than the rest of, of the ship so just like the first one we will paint this separately and then add it and glue it as we go so what I think we'll do today just to finish this video off we will come through and just very quickly make this mast up because we are very close to the end of the drawings now and we are very close to painting, which is why I mentioned it. So here we have the first three pieces off, which is a section over here. I didn't bore you with the taking off the sprue and cleaning it up. I just thought I'd just get them already. You've seen that plenty of times in the past. I've just come back in for a minute as I was gluing these two pieces together. This one was very, very fragile. Um, and it didn't really want to stick the way that it is so just be careful that when you do this it does have a lip up here and you do need to nudge it back it just it took a little bit of caressing to put it back to where it needed to be okay so there is the first section all cleaned up and I will tell you this was more fiddly than it looks um, so if you're doing one of these just take your time and it'll come out nicely so that is cleaned up and ready to go here we have the next two pieces cut off and cleaned up and all glued together a 39 because this is a continuation on from the other video I put a few pieces together to sort of save some time there we have all the parts all cleaned up now we'll just quickly glue them all together Okay, I've come back in because this piece here is really, really confusing. So the legs this way is the correct way. And what you're really after is, um, you'll see at the front here, with my little pointer. So at the front here, come on, zoom in. You'll find there's a little, there's a little spot there, like a locator spot. So, that is actually for this hole to 
to locate into that spot. So ideally this has to go on this way. So if I can do that in the camera, I can. The problem is it's really, really loose. Now it got me thinking, I'm like, is that correct? So I went through and I double checked the actual plans itself. I can probably zoom in there so you can see. Uh, and again, let's try and get that the right angle. So there's your mast. There's your little legs that are sticking out. That's the platform. We've already made the round bit for the back here. So there's another mast that goes from here through this platform and on top of the legs or on top of just here. So very, very confusing, especially how loose it is. So I just thought I'd come back for and explain exactly where it goes. So to help fit that piece, what I've decided to do is we'll put the next part of the mast together and what we'll do, we'll slide that through the hole in here glue that to the base and that way when we glue this piece up it'll actually help hold it all together. Here is the mast on the sprue. Be very very careful because it is really really fine. Just take your time in chopping this one out. Uh, and also while you're chopping it out I would probably chop this section first and I would probably chop away from the from the mast so you can come back and clean up closer to it because it's very easy to chop that off. So there it is off the sprue and don't forget to take oh, don't forget to take that little section off as well. Okay now I've got this piece cleaned up and take your time with it because there's a lot of little sprues on there it's got to be cleaned up uh, those couple of pieces in the middle there, they're meant to be there. So, now, the best way, I think, to put this piece together is we will run this one through the floor, making sure it's the right way up, which is that way. Slide it over past it. And then, what you're really looking for is to put this onto that locating point there and glue that down and then after it's glued down you can then slide the floor down onto, onto the position which will go through there and locate it like so. So what it will look like is something like, if I can get this It'll look like something like that, there and there, and locate it. So it'll look something like that, and that's why I'm saying do this one section at a time. So glue it on there, glue it onto the bottom here first, wait, get these two sorted out, and then you can slide that other piece down. And that's probably your best bet to get that on. And if you want to see me glue it on, I'm going to do it something like this. Pair it, get it ready, dab my glue on, put plenty on here, give it a second to go off. And then, give it a bit more, because I put quite a lot on there. Alright, now once it starts to take off. Now just line the tops of your aerial up, just like so. Don't worry about the floor just yet, just get the mast and your legs in line. I'm going to suggest you just muck around with this just a little bit, and again you want that hold to look like it's spearing all the way through. Mine has a tendency to want to fall a little to the right and once we kind of get it okay that way again double check that the orientation is correct 
and then we also have to flip it around and line it up this way once you get it to where you're pretty happy I would suggest this piece until that glue and the plastic goes right off just give it 10 or 15 minutes so we're going to do the same and we'll come back there was an awful lot to eye up with this piece to get this part of the mast in line with itself and then we roll it over we want it level this way and then we're going to roll it to the side and we get it level that way as well so yeah take your time and it'll come good okay so a good 15 probably 20 minutes has passed I've let this just sit here to go off and sometimes the best thing to do is actually just not fiddle with it so now let's have a bit of a look how strong it is yeah that's pretty strong now that's pretty good still fragile but strong all right now what I was saying before we now spin this piece around put it on there like so and this is why I did it this way because this piece is very topsy-turvy if you like loose I, I don't know if they made a mistake or which is a whole reason why I went through and double checked I'm like well that doesn't seem right but that's the easiest way now to get to glue that and set that up and get that one right so we'll do that and again this piece because it's got a quite a lot of free play in it you want to make sure it's level this way down the sprue and in line with this and then you've got to come back and make sure it's level this way So by the time it stands up, as you can see, I think it's just a little out there. So uh, the glue is just going off. I'll just let it go off a little bit more and then we'll play with it again just to realign it. So it's been about 10 minutes since I've glued the mast. And then I came back. So as you know, we glued it underneath. And after I was very happy with it, I came back and glued, on, glued it on top. So, I've done kind of a pre-fit into the ship itself. Um, now, I was kind of glad that I didn't put this on because to put this through, to kind of do a test fit, let's move that one out of the way, to kind of do a test fit, I had to basically take this one off, slide it down. I don't want to put it all the way home, but as you can see with the legs line up, and then it'll come all the way down and sit on the main structure of the ship um, and of course I don't want to fit this to ship because it does have to come out and be painted anyway I thought I would just show you that the way that it sort of fits in all these pieces all sort of locked together um, now you think that it's finished it's not quite finished let's just zoom out for it so the last little bit to go is we have two antennas across here which I deliberately left off on purpose because I knew how fiddly this was going to be to get all lined up there it is full on front on I believe it's pretty straight I don't know about your perspective but yeah so now I'll take this out I'll put the last two antenna on and then we'll call this uh, this episode finished uh, but to come in unfortunately we've had an accident I've broken this piece, so we're going to have to now repair it before we go any further. I broke it while trying to clean it, unfortunately. I've glued it back together. Um, because it's so fragile now, we're going to have to really let that go off. So again, I'll probably come back in another half an hour. So another half an hour has now passed, and the catastrophe that we had... It's now being avoided so crisis no more there it is back together and it's been a while so the glue's gone right off and now I have to continue cleaning it so there's that piece in there 
it's not even one millimeter so this is why we had trouble with it just thought I would show that nope unfortunately we've done it again I think we're gonna have to uh, wait again I'll just put it back together again for the second time and it's fiddly as so there it is just need to bang it back into place Oop, too much all right so unfortunately we're gonna have to let that go off again okay now we've got that all glued back together I uh, while this mask was sitting in there I'm going to use it to its full advantage because the ship is actually helping me hold it hold it upright uh, what I might do okay I changed the uh, what it was sitting on because it was a little bit unstable and I really wanted this to be sitting pretty much straight up and down sort of this way I know the camera doesn't quite sort of say that just to maybe if I move this over here okay so I just readjusted it and moved it so now as you can see it's sitting there straight up and down this way now that it's sitting there uh, there's two pieces left here there's the bottom piece and the top piece okay let's try this again this is turning out way harder than I thought so we have the secondary uh, crossways piece which is pretty much for um, all the rigging and then the the top one as well so this is the one that I broke let's try and end this video and get this piece on okay So we'll get some glue, let's try and get that directly in there, just a dab, let's now sit this on, like so, nope, let's not do that for one second. It occurred to me just as I was putting it on that I wasn't actually quite sure where the middle was and I didn't want to stick in more one way than the other so I've got my little my little modeling ruler and I'm going to come through and put a mark on where the middle is so when I actually fit it for the probably about the fourth time it'll actually be sitting in the middle so there it is we have a very fine faint mark on it to where the middle is so now, when we go to put it on, I don't have to guess where it is. I can put a little bit of glue on there, just to start her off. Let's put that on, and let's just let that wick either side of that. And we finally got it on. No, 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 new problem. Go. Sorry. I don't know if I've got that on screen. Alright. And again, just trying to nudge that into line. So here's the next piece. Uh, now as you can see there's a little nub right at the end there this piece must go with the mast up and I do believe this is for the rigging for that very reason so don't put it on this way put it on this way because I'm working upside down I'm actually going to be putting it on this way so when it sits up it'll be masked up so I've just glued the second one I'll just let it go off for a minute and then we will readjust it on your view, which will be this way. That's pretty close. Let's try it that way. 
let's try and do this on your view so just nudge this one just here there you go in line that looks pretty good to me just coming back to you yeah I know it's hard with the camera so just want that in line so I think you know what I mean right it's very delicate right now we're just going to let that finish and that is the end of the mast uh, I do know you're saying well, what about that little round bit you made earlier on this section here I will fit that after it's dry which is just basically going to go on there just like so but this has already taken long enough this this uh, this section so let's leave it there for today um, thanks for being patient um, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one thanks bye